All right, let's get started. All right, let's do sitting down first, getting that warm up in. Just gonna cross your legs. Create a nice elongated spine. Arms up or down, palms facing upward or downward, whatever feels good for you today. All right. So go ahead and get settled. Closing your eyes, I want you to take deep, slow breaths. Inhale for a count of six. Hold for three. Exhale for a count of six. Four more breaths. Keep going. All right, open the eyes, raise the arms up. Exhale, breath position. And let's set the intention for the remainder of this practice. I choose peace over chaos. I choose peace over chaos. I choose peace over chaos. Good, stretch the arms out and gently twist over to the left, come back to the center and twist over to the right, keep going. Just warming up, now bring the arms up, interlace the fingers and palms facing the ceiling, sway back and forth, left to right, just warming up the sides of the body. Now bring the palms down onto the knees, chin to the chest, roll that left ear to the left shoulder, chin to the chest, roll that right ear to the right shoulder, chin to the chest. <clears throat> Go ahead and bring the head up to neutral, turn to the left, thumb to the center, turn to the right, and return to the center. Keeping the hands on the knees, scoop hollow and round that back. C-shaped spine, chin to the chest. And now go ahead and bring the head neutral, back nice and straight. Lift the arms up, deep inhale. Exhale, scoop hollow and round that back. Inhale, back nice and straight, lift up. Exhale, scoop hollow and round that back. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop hollow and round that back. All right. Keep my glasses off, I'm already sweating. So go ahead and do cat cow. So this one is really warming up just the spine, but also pay attention to your chest as you open the pectoralis muscles and keep the shoulders away from the ears. As you inhale, lift the head up and arch the back slightly. And as you exhale, round the back. Keep going, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, two more. One more. And rotate around. Inhale, 
and other direction. And now come forward and stretch. Come up, switch. Turn over to the right, feel the stretch here. Reach over to the left. Lift this left arm up, over the head. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale over to the opposite side. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, over to the right. One more time, inhale. Exhale, over to the left. Spinal twist, lift both arms up. Exhale, twist, but lengthen the spine first. Twist and look over that right shoulder. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist, look over that left shoulder. Keep going, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. One more time. Good. And a more active twist. I want you to take the hands to the shoulders and go back and forth, left to right. And you want to inhale to one side, exhale to the other. Keep going. And come back, rotate the shoulders. Rotate in the opposite direction. Rotate the wrists. And now warm up the ankles. Point and flex, rotate. Point and flex, rotate the opposite direction. Point and flex, rotate the opposite direction. Good. Warming up the knees, take the hands behind the knee. Draw a circle with your toe. Imagine there's a pencil here. And you draw a big circle counterclockwise and opposite direction. Other side, keep the hip stationary. You're just rotating the knee. Other direction. Good, flex your toes, raise the arms up, hinge forward, first warm up here, stretching those hamstrings. Good, and come up onto the knees now. And we're gonna start with cat cow, inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Three more. Two more. One more. And rotate around in circle. Hip rotations. And hip rotations in the opposite direction. Good. All right, center this left hand, right hand up. Scoop it over to the left side, but don't bring it down. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, one more time. Inhale. Exhale, drop the shoulder to the mat. Left hand up. Bend the elbow, take the hands behind the head, or back, I should say. Bring that left hand up, bring it down, switch, center the right hand, left hand up, scoop it over. Three, two, one, and take this left shoulder on the mat, right hand up, bend the elbow, take the hand behind the back. Right hand up and bring it down. Good, puppy dog pose. Armpits come down, chin to the mouth. Good. 
All right, now find your bolster. Place your knees on this bolster. Take the hips all the way back to the heels. And let's move right into child's pose this way. Deep child's pose, forehead to the ground. Then move over to the left side and right side. And come back up now. Find your blocks if you have some. If not, that's okay too. Then place this left knee on one block, right hand on the other. So we're going to square the hips. Left hand forward, right leg up. Take three breaths here. Good, feel free to grab your foot if you want. Perfectly fine. Good. All right, lengthen from the left hand and the right foot, keep the hips square. Tuck the left elbow into the chest and the right knee into the chest, and then extend. Three more. Three. Two. One, good. All right, let's do the other side. Place the block to the right. Place your right knee on that block. Place the other block to the left for your left hand. Check yourself, make sure the hips are square. Lift that left foot up. Right hand up as well, extend it, full extension. Readjust if you think your alignment is not perfect. And it doesn't have to be, just keep the hips square. All right, if you wanna grab your foot, you can. And balance. Good, extend. Right hand, left foot, flex this left foot. Extend the whole left leg. Tuck the left knee into the chest, right elbow into the chest and extend. Keep going, three, two, one. Good, all right. Back to child's pose, use the blocks as a prop. Stretch, 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 open the knees out, big toes together, hands on the blocks. Okay, blocks me to the side for now. Let's move right into our downward dog. Bicycle the feet. And we're gonna warm up by moving into plank. So from downward dog, come up on the tippy toes, rock back. Tippy toes, rock back, heels down. And let's move into plank. And back to downward dog. Now, what's the movement with the breath? It's inhale to prep, exhale plank, inhale to turn, exhale plank, two more, one more. Good. All right, drop the right knee down, turn over to the side, and take that left hand overhead, um, left leg extended. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's what we're doing next. We're going to lift that left leg up and left hand up, and then toe tap, left hand overhead. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good. Child's pose. Rest. All right, come back to plank. Turn over to the left, drop the left knee down. 
I said left foot. I don't know my left and right today. Turn over the to the right and drop the left feet down. Left hand is on the mat. Right hand is overhead. Right foot is on the ground. Same thing on this other side. Inhale, lift. Right hand towards the ceiling. Right foot up. Exhale down. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good. Rotate right into child's pose. All right, come back up to the downward dog. Now what I want you to do is walk the hand, instead of the feet to the hands, which everyone always does in yoga, hands to the feet, opposite. Good, come into a chair and hold five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna move right into sun salutations. Uh, take a little break, I'm sweating. Let me grab my towel. We'll start up. All right. So start at the front of your mat. Tummy in. Bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale, prep position. Arms overhead open. And swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up, hands on the shin, back is flat. Good, exhale, fold, forward, bend the knees, and send the right leg back. Good. Okay, two deep breaths here. One deep breath. Good, and left foot back, down with dog. One more breath. Good, come into plank. And drop to the knees, drop the chest to the ground, elbows hugging the body, chin to the ground, drop the pelvis, forehead to the ground, hug the elbows to the rib cage as you come up into a cobra. From down now, curl the toes under, inhale to prep, exhale, push your way to downward dog. Three deep breaths here. Two deep breaths, one deep breath. Center the left foot, raise the right leg up, bring it forward between the hands. Lunge, two deep breaths, one deep breath. Back to the forward, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hold, airplane the arms out. Slight back bend. Open the chest, accept that position. All right, keep that tummy in, pelvis standing up. So keeping that navel to the spine and keeping that lower back not swayed, but engaged and lengthened. Keep that position to dasana. That was round one, two more rounds. Here we go. Rest first, three deep breaths. All right, round two, inhale, lift. Exhale, prep position. Inhale, raise the arms up, open the chest, and swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up, hands on the shins. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, and this time send the left foot back. Lunge, two deep breaths. One deep breath, right foot back, downward dog. Inhale into plank, drop the knees, chest and chin to the ground, drop the pelvis to the ground, forehead to the ground. Okay, remember no chicken wings, hug the elbows to the rib cage, no earrings for your shoulders, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, come up to low cobra or high cobra, whatever you wish. Exhale, come down. All right, keep those toes curled under. If you're tired, you can bend the knees like this and then come up to your downward dog. 
or keep the knees straight, push your way up to your downward dog. Two deep breaths. One deep breath. Good. Center the right foot. Bring the left leg up. Bring it between the thighs. Now for beginners, if this is difficult, here's what you can do. Drop the knees, drop to your knees, swing the leg, and then you find yourself in lunge. That's another option. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Propulse your way forward. So this right foot, propulse it forward, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hold. Airplane the arms out, lift up. Exhale, prayer position. Good. Come to your Tadasana. Close your eyes. And this time, before we do our third round of sun salutations, really focus on your posture. So, pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine, create space for your vertebrae. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. With your eyes closed, take five deep breaths here. All right, so now this third round of sun salutations, I'm going to incorporate warrior one and warrior two in the sun salutation. And so hopefully that'll uh, feel good. It's a little bit different. Normally we just do pre sun salutation, you know, we do the standing poses. I like to incorporate it. So let's try it out, okay? So let's come to the front of the mat. Pelvic floor in and up, create that triangle. This I learned from Pilates because it's really good to always remember um, to lift up um, so you don't slouch like this. So lift the pelvic floor in and up. Create that triangle. And now you got your back nice and straight. Shoulders down, inhale, lift. Exhale, prayer position. All right, here's what we're doing next. Lift the arms up, open the chest, swan dive down, pivot from the hips back. It's flat, reach for your ankles or feet. Take the hands to the shins, inhale, lift up back, the flat again, show your head up, and now let the head hang. Bend your knees, and send this right foot back into a lunge. Good, now guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna pivot, notice how I rotate my foot. So I rotate from 12 o'clock to two o'clock, drop the heel down. Okay, so 12 o'clock, two o'clock, drop the heel down. Keep the hands, on the hips so that they're nice and square. And if you can't do it and you're like kind of tilted like this, it's fine. Just work on at least the shoulders to be square. Also work on this left knee over the ankle. Also remember the pelvic floor in and up. Warrior one here. Virabhadrasana one. Three breaths here. You can look up or keep the head neutral. I personally like to keep the head neutral. I don't like to hyperextend my neck. Good. And pivot over to the right. Bring the arms out transverse. Your hips are open here. Hip opener. Three deep breaths. Now, here's the common mistake with beginners. This is what happens with their knee. You see this? In warrior two, this is what they do. I don't want to see that. You want to take this left knee right over the ankle. So there's one nice long line. You see, you can't even see me. Okay, that's what I want. So check yourself now. Or your two. Three more breaths. Good. Bicycle the hands down. Find your lunge. Take the left foot back, downward dog. Rest here in downward dog. I, don't, I know it doesn't seem like a rest, but you're taking a break and breathing. Three breaths.
All right, inhale, plank pose. Drop the knees, chest, chin to the ground, same as before. Elbows hugging the rib cage, shoulders away from the ears. Focus to the floor. All right, inhale, lift to low cobra or high cobra. Exhale, foreheads to the ground. Curl the toes under. Push your way back to downward dog. Two deep breaths here. One deep breath. Center the left foot, raise the right leg up, bring it between the hands. Remember what I did with the other foot. Now it's the left foot. 12 o'clock, Santa o'clock, right? So 12 o'clock, Santa o'clock for 11 o'clock. Hands on the hips and keep those hips square if you can. The most important thing is your shoulders square, lift the arms up, three deep breaths. Then turn to the left, warrior two, here in the draw center two. Add your drishti focal point to your right middle finger, shoulders down, nice horizontal position here, completely aligned, right and left hands. Right knee, remember, towards the pinky toe, don't bring it medial. Keep breathing. One more, and bicycle the hands down to your lunge. Take the left foot forward, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Inhale, so you can see me in the camera. Exhale, fold. Find your chair pose. Lift the arms up, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. How did you all do out there? All right. Guess what we're doing next? Our tree pose. I love doing tree. I have this ballet bar here I could use. Um, you could use the wall if you don't have a ballet bar. But if you're not a beginner at this, you don't need to hold on to anything. You can hold on to the wall or the yellow bar and come up. But I'm going to teach you without it. It's up to you. It's your practice. Find your tadasana. Mountain pose. Keep your feet hip distance apart. Spread the weight distribution across all parts of your foot. Loosen the knees so don't hyperextend. Don't do this. Just kind of keep those knees loose. But squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs, pelvic core in and up. You want to stabilize this core to hold you up, shoulders down. Because if you're all crooked like this, you can fall forward. Right, if you're like that, you want to march back. So you really want to engage the core, shoulders down and away from the ears. Create a stable foundation. Lean over to the left foot. A lot of people slouch and go like this. Uh-uh. Lift it up. So lift up, lean over to the left foot, pivot, turn your right foot. Take that right foot either to the lower leg. You really feel courageous. And you've done this before. Grab your hands to the right ankle and take that right foot to the inner left thigh. Palms together. You can stay right here or throw your tree branches, whatever you want to do. It's your practice. All right, so I'm going to keep my hands in prayer. 20 seconds and if you fall down, bring the tree back up. All right, check it out. Here we go, other side. Find your mental pose. Tadasana, lean over to the right foot. Take that left foot either to the lower leg or left foot to the medial right thigh. Arms together, grab position. And pull the arms out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Good. How did everyone do? Let me check. All right. So let's get started on, on something else. We are going to start with our asanas on the ground. The first one we're going to do is a camel pose. Find your bolster to protect your knees. But my camels are not full expression. I have hip replacements and I have herniated discs. So because of that, um, especially when I have beginners, it's even better. I can show you all the modifications that I do. So all I do is not a lot. I have the bolsters and the blocks, which I'm gonna place right behind me, like so. I come up and I first take the pelvis forward, lift the chest. If I want, I can place my hand on this block and lift the left hand up. And that's a nice deep stretch. And this is my modification. And then I come up and I do it on the other side. I take the left hand to the block and lift up. So I'm not really bending the back that much. So I don't crush and crunch my bulging discs. All right. Now, if you don't like that, you just want to stay even like a basket weave. Okay. This is how I position my hands to support my lower back and pelvis. I spread my knees out hip distance apart, push the pelvis forward and lift the chest up. Stay here for four breaths. And come right into that child's pose. Using the bolster as a prop, hips all the way to the heels. Get adjusted or hit to the ground. All right, let's use the bolster to move into frog. So elbows on the ground. And open the knees out, four breaths. Good. Place the hands on the mat, bring the knees together. And let's move into pigeon. Take the left foot back, extend the left leg. Let me move this block so you can see my position here. Draw the toes under and lift the chest up. So I've taken full advantage of my uh, props. Three breaths here. And fold forward. You can come up if you want and grab the back leg. That's another option. And switch. Gently take the left knee forward. Take the right leg back. Chest up. And when you're ready, fold forward. And again, do what you want. If it's your practice, if you want to bend your knee or not, I'm going to take it easy on this side. It's my unstable hip replacement. So I have to play around with this side. Good. Okay. Now, slowly curl the toes under. And find your standing forward bend. Take the hands to the heels. Um, hands to the elbows, pardon me. And sway back and forth. Good. Now use, again, the bolster as a prop. We're going to come in facing forward. I'm going to show you the Hindi squat. So turn the feet out and come down. Try to touch the hips, if you can, to the bolster. If you can't, that's fine. You work on that flexibility. Elbows 
to the inside of the thighs and gently rock back and forth. Find your position here, three deep breaths. Two deep breaths. And one deep breath, come out. Straighten out the legs. And here's what I want you to do. Place the bolster in front of you. Bring the arms up. Hinge forward and see if you can grab that bolster. Forward bend. Four deep breaths here. Slowly come up, bend the right knee, right foot over the left thigh, left elbow to the outside of the right knee, leg in a twist, look over the right shoulder. Turn the head. Move the upper body to the opposite side. And return. Bend the left knee. Take the left foot over the right thigh. Take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Lengthen and twist. Four deep breaths. And twist to the opposite side. And return. Okay, here we go. Let's do butterflies sitting up. Create that length in spine, fold forward. Four deep breaths. Okay, now create a turtle pose, diamond shape with your feet, hands underneath the ankles, fold forward. All right, now come up, extended wide angle pose, open up into that straddle. Again, feel free to use this bolster as a prop. Keep your knees and toes facing the ceiling. Inhale to prep. Exhale, reach forward. And stay here for four breaths. Slowly come up, place the bolster to the side, bring the legs together. Work your way down onto your belly, onto your back. Ah, ah, I'm up this morning, any more coffee? Okay, so here we are in supine position. And we're gonna move right into our shoulder uh, bridge. So go ahead and bend the knees, lift the pelvis up, scoop the shoulders closer to each other, shoulder blades, scapulae. Hands, you can keep them palms on the ground or support the back. Take the palms to the lower back. Four deep breaths here. And release. One vertebra at a time. Good. Take the hands to the soles of the feet and gently rock back and forth.
Good. When you are ready, take uh, the bolster underneath your tailbone and bring the legs and the arms up. We're going to hold this position for about a minute or two, reversing the blood flow and turning on that relaxation response. Good, bring the legs down, arms overhead. Tuck the right knee into the chest, keep the left knee straight. And switch. And release, stretch the arms overhead. Good, all right, take the bolster off. And away. And now we're going to tuck the knees into the chest, draw the knees over to the left, up the body, twist to the right. Four deep breaths. And bring the knees over to the right, upper body, twist to the left. All right, cross at the ankles, take the hands behind the knees, tuck yourself, so forehead to the knees, rounding your back. Last stretch, here it is. All right, and the next few minutes will be a guided meditation. Place your bolster behind the knees like so. Get settled into the mat. Maybe perhaps put an eye pillow with some lavender. Stretch the legs and the arms out. Get comfortable as I lead you into a nice, relaxing guided meditation. I'm going to take out my crystal bowl. All right. So when you are ready, Bring your awareness as you lay there to your feet, gut and point, and flex your toes. Point and flex. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, let it go. Completely relax. Come to the lower legs, knees, and thighs. Squeeze the muscles tight. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Now bring the awareness to the glutes. Go ahead and squeeze the glutes tight. Perhaps lift them up off the mat. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Relax the hips into the ground. Come to the belly and take a deep inhale. Hold that breath just in the abdomen. Now open the mouth, big sigh, let it go. Now take that breath and bring it up into the chest and rib cage and hold. Big sigh, let it go. Now take the deepest breath, belly, chest, rib cage, collarbone, hold. 
Big sigh, let it go. Come to the hands, lift the hands up, squeeze, make a tight fist. <coughs> Inhale, stretch the fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the shoulders and lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the facial muscles, squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, release and let go. Let go of the lower jaw from the upper jaw. Relax the lips, the cheeks, the nose. Relax the eyes, the forehead, and the scalp. Scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. Breathe into that joint, space, or muscle. On your exhale, let go of the tension. Breathe into that space and begin to cycle with the breath, letting go of the physical tension, the mental strain, or any emotional upheaval. Take each breath, inhale in the positive, exhale out the negative. Inhale in, relaxation. Exhale out any tension. Thoughts might pop up and it's quite normal. It's just simple electrochemical signals. That's what we are down to at that level. So see those thoughts simplified and then you won't engage with them. Just witness the thoughts and let them go until truly all that is left is your peaceful self, your soul. Begin to guide your soul to your sacred space. See yourself walking through a forest. And in this forest, you notice birds, rays of sunshine peeking through the tree branches. And as you walk along the forest, it curves to the right out into an opening. And when you come out through the opening, you see a beautiful lake as the forest surrounds you. You walk towards the lake shore and lay down. Connect with Mother Earth and sky above and feel its energy. Feel Mother Earth's energy. The sky is blue, no clouds. Just the morning sun. Embrace that morning sun. Feel its nourishing energy across the feet and ankles, lower legs, knees, and thighs, hips and sacrum, abdomen and up the spine, reaching the chest, the heart and lungs relax. And you embrace the sun's rays across the shoulders and arms, forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. Feel the warmth across the neck and face, and finally the scalp. As the heat is released from the body, you are left at peace. The body is relaxed, the breath is calm, the mind is clear, your soul uplifted. Stay in your sacred space. Enjoy the peace and serenity.
when you are ready, come back, come back from that deep relaxation, back into the body. Wiggle the fingers and the toes, stretch the arms and the legs. Yawn if you need to. And go ahead and turn over to the right or to the left side as I pull an oracle card by the angel guide, Kyle Gray. Let's see what the message is for today. Let me shuffle the cards. Okay. So let me look up the message, ease and grace. This is a time to learn and adapt. You are being guided to slow down, take your time, take in the current moment and allow space for events to occur. You often put too much pressure and expectation on yourself and this is not required. Also, with constant effort and rush, you'll find yourself becoming overwhelmed and tired. When you are too forceful, you use up too much energy and that may hinder your progress at this time. If you are in a difficult situation at work or with other people, don't feel you have to prove your skills, talents, or worth. Just step back and breathe, and through grace, you will be seen, understood, and recognized for who you truly are. That is an amazing read. Okay, so our last minute of our practice will be a meditation. You could choose to do whatever you want. Count your breaths for a minute. Um, use an affirmation, a prayer of your own belief system, um, sending healing energy to Ukraine, whatever you want to do, whatever works for you at this time. If your mind wanders, bring it back on this task. So for one minute, we do this. At the sound of the crystal bowl, we begin. Take a deep breath, exhale prayer position, and thank yourself for coming to the mat today, connecting your body, mind, and soul. Each day is a gift granted, never promised, so use it wisely. Find your purpose, use your God-given talents, and use each day with purpose and gratitude. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with mine. And I will see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow we are doing Pilates and yoga. So it'll be half an hour Pilates and half an hour yoga. All right.